So Artemis is a prostate biopsy system, fundamentally. I mean, its actual name is called the Artemis MRI Truss Fusion System. And essentially what that refers to is it's a way of biopsying the prostate by using both MRI images and the traditional ultrasound images. Those images get fused together and put into a computer, which we can then load and get a three-dimensional model out of. We can identify targets from the MRI, and then using a robot arm that is attached to the biopsy instrument, we can specifically target areas within the prostate with a high degree of accuracy. Where this Artemis has uh, completely revolutionized the uh, diagnosis and the follow-up of, of men with prostate cancer is by having an MRI image, you actually can see areas of concern that you cannot see by ultrasound. You can specifically target those areas. You can go back to those areas months or years later to specifically see what's changing in that area. And so that's where there's a huge difference. And ultimately the thought is that by having this technology, one, we'll do fewer unnecessary biopsies. We'll be able to, along the diagnostic pathway, more clearly identify men who are going to benefit from having a biopsy because the MRI is now this new image modality that's going to help us with that kind of decision making. And then those men that who are going to get the biopsy, these biopsies are more accurate. They're where we want them and hopefully avoiding unnecessary sampling of areas that have a low degree of suspicion. And again, in the case of men who are on active surveillance protocols for prostate cancer, we'll be able to go back to the specific areas that had previously shown some interest to us, perhaps it showed a little bit of prostate cancer, and go right back there and find out whether anything has changed and whether those men can continue to safely stay on active surveillance protocols. Or if things have changed and we need to go on to treatment, we feel confident that we've gotten that information out of the system.